Hello. Uh, I have had some questions about uh, how do we uh, make the waypoints in a real world in a Hems flight and during the flight planning stage. So I will show you a few different options how to uh, how to do it uh, in the helicopter system Garmin 750 and in for flight uh, which we are using in our operations. These are, by the way, connected uh, to each other via uh, wireless link. So, uh, the most common way uh, for us to navigate is that uh, the backseat guys, the par paramedics, or in, in the other uh, bases, the helicopter uh, heli uh, HCM, helicopter crew member, uh, which is sitting here and reading the maps and uh, using the radios, not flying. Uh, they give us uh, some kind of coordinates uh, uh, about uh, from their database. And we start uh, hitting it here into our system. You can find uh, this same menu uh, at least from the payware uh, Garmin uh, in your HPG uh, H145 helicopter in flight simulator. So first go to waypoint info and then create waypoint and then uh, choose which kind of uh, in this case we use position type lat long and then I use temporary so that I don't make uh, any uh, useless waypoints here. And then I go to latitude, longitude, and then I have one random spot here. Uh, it's called Tepsa in Finland, northern Finland, somewhere near Kittila Airport. And I will, uh, uh, as an example, pass these uh, coordinates uh, to the Garmin. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, north. Sixty-seven degrees thirty-three point forty-five, and then east zero two five four zero and five two, and let's see. Now we have here a temporary. Uh, a waypoint to check if it's okay and I will zoom it out we have a river going there and it is Sattanen Joki and Kelon Tekema Järvi let's see Kelon Tekema Järvi is here and Sattanen River is here so it's approximately a uh, right place and I hit create then we have this user point 204 in here and I can press press uh, direct to and check that we have the same uh, waypoint here and hit activate. And now uh, this Garmin gives us route to this destination just uh, that, uh, that we just passed. And second way I go to flight plans and just in case it's cleared, yep. The other way is to make it like this uh, in Garmin, sorry, in ForeFlight. I put some random spot here. Let's see, it's for example this here, some kind of island. It's a winter time and Let's play that we have a snowmobile accident here in this spot. And then I press these coordinates and then I press uh, the waypoint that I just created and press direct to. And then we have direct to route to that position. And then I hit this button here, send to panel and immediately I get a message here to the left screen 
and I can check that uh, it's corresponding to this one that I have here in Forklight and it's OK, activate and then we will have the same route here in the Garmin as you can see and also in here let's zoom it out check range yeah but it's pointing uh, where our nose is pointing so I can see the whole um, uh, road from here okay and in the case that we want to edit our flight plan here for example we have a, a, a thunder cell in this location so I want to fly via via this location uh, I hit map pointer and make new waypoint temporary and user point 208 and then create and we get new uh, waypoint here and then graphically edit FPL and then just drag and drop to this waypoint and check that it's okay and done now we have the new uh, route here in the common and also the four flight is asking uh, if I want to load the road from uh, route from the panel load route like that and there we go and same thing uh, maybe a little bit easier in this four flight we want to dodge these windmills here wind turbines I just drag and drop and I choose uh, the coordinates up there it looks like this and then I go here and send to panel and then we get message I open the message here new flight plan check that it's similar to this one it looks good and then activate replace current active active route okay and then we have the same route here in the Garmin and also in the, MF, uh, in the MFT4 but it's not visible because it's down there we are pointing towards south ish and the route is going to the uh, north and one option for us to navigate is also the database we have here we have uh, landing spots f h one f h five one yep and when i hit this filter on uh, i can see all the uh, landing spots that we have uh, used uh, someday and they have been uh, saved here to our four flight database and for example here is one let's see Akaslom Polo uh, fire station was it here yes fire station here's one spot I can hit here and direct to and then I get direct to uh, route to that, that spot and this is quite a uh, high hill here I can already make the route go like this to avo avoid hitting to the ground and then make new waypoint like this and then send to panel and checking the messages new flight plan check that it's okay and activate replace current active route and there we go there we have the same route and we can just keep the couple from here and the helicopter autopilot will take us uh, to this spot that we just made to the foreflight and Garmin as simple as that bye